Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the first ever Thrones of Britannia AI only battle part 1 of the tournament the English versus the Welsh this is going to be exciting I hope the armies have been chosen at complete random so this is the English army and this will be the Welsh army chosen at complete random um, so far looking at it, it seems like the Welsh have brought a lot of warhounds um, and a catapult which is um, quite interesting and this is of course the English arm here. I will be on the battlefield but I'll be like hiding at the back and just letting the AI fight the AI. Hopefully this works. These are the usual settings. Um, yeah, I've, cho I've just chosen like one random map that looks kind of balanced. Um, yeah, so let's go. I've got no idea if this is going to work. Um, it, it, this tournament could be an absolute disaster or it might work brilliantly. I, I don't know yet. So here we go, this is by the way my first look at Thrones of Britannia, so yeah, I, I'm very excited about this game. It, it could be an absolute disaster, um, oh, it, it could be good, I, I don't know yet, I'm hoping it's good, and let's go. So the English have of course farmed up, these numbers seem a little bit small, like 80 units of a Spearman unit, ooh it runs, they're quite quick which is good, I was, I was really worried it's going to be like some really horrible mess where it's like two frames per second but no it seems good um well so far at least let's see how it goes when we get into battle yeah but it's like 80 units i don't know if there's a way just to push it up to 120 i i prefer more units um in my total war games but i don't know yet so the welsh catapult is here um the by the way the defender and the attacker is chosen at random here the defender is welsh i think well, it looks like it anyway. First catapult shots have come in. They took out a couple of horsemen units. Oh, four of them. Or oh, two. I don't know, did it count the horse as one and the man as the other? Ah, oh, yeah, so that's interesting. So there's actually only 15. No, this way. Uh, I'm, I'm just being stupid with my numbers. As usual. Oh, I like these shields. It's. Yeah, very good. Okay, so the English are coming in. They're coming in through the forest. They've got some cavalry moving around here as well. Come on, England. I'm, of course, cheering for England throughout this entire thing. So I, I do want to see them win, but, you know, as a commentator, I've got to kind of remain fair. The Welsh seem to have more cavalry than the English, so they've engaged their cavalry there. Looks like the Welsh are pushing forward, and the Dogs of War has been released. Yes. Oh. They they all seem to die very quickly, the dogs, but... Oh, well, well. So the English brought 1,300 soldiers to the battle, the Welsh brought almost 900, so... Of course, the English outnumber the Welsh, but... You know, don't, don't underestimate the Welsh. The English have attacked their catapult here. Um, and of course, it looks like they've almost broken some cavalry, or... Maybe we're just pulling back. Right, so the Welsh are pulling back with some units. They're probably like going to try and reform somewhere, but the English cavalry are coming in. I'm, of course, still getting used to this game, so um, this is the first battle I've ever seen. And it looks good so far. I'm, I was a little bit worried at one point, but yeah, it, look, it looks good so far. And I haven't seen any big frame drops as well, which is, that's always nice. Right, so the Welsh are pulling back for cavalry right now. How many soldiers are left? So the balance of power is still in England, so we have a thousand soldiers and the Welsh have 600 soldiers. So of course the English still outnumber them, but, oh, a cavalry charge into Spearmen. Uh, I've heard that the cavalry aren't that, like, as, I've heard the cavalry are different. They're not, they can be, like, really damaging at some units, but, you know, others they're not, like, more, more balanced, I'll say, I think. But that's just from what I've heard. I don't know much about this game, it's just, like, a, a few small details. So the English, I think, have broken. I'm struggling to see the difference between these flags. Um... 
one thing that I did do in the till and as soon as I started is I just made wells bigger. Yeah, that, that, that's clearer for me. If like, if you don't like it, I can change it for future videos, but... Yeah, so... Battle's still going on. Well, we should have some soldiers back here, still some javelineers. The English have units back here. I think this is an interesting thing. It's like they're purposely keeping soldiers in reserve. Or, no, these are archers, so... Yeah, weird. It might just be a buggy AI. Of course, the game has just been released two hours ago, so there's probably going to be a few bugs around. <laughs> Balance of power is still in England's favour, which is good. If you're cheering for England, that is. Because, of course, you can choose what faction you want to win um, on my Discord, and if you get correct, you get promoted in the Discord from a goblin to an orc. Or if you're already an orc, then you'll go up to a... I think it's an Urvik High next. I can't remember. All the way up to Nazgul. Okay, so the Welsh general has died. That's going to cause quite big problems for the Welsh. Yeah, you can see him starting to break already. The English are starting to move around a little bit. Um, not, I wouldn't say that. Yeah, they are kind of flanking them on this side. So, yeah, they're, they're flanking them. English are moving around here as well, getting the Welsh in the back. Yeah, this Welsh unit's completely surrounded. One problem I've noticed with this so far is that it's difficult to see what units are mounting and which are not mounting, and that's English victory. Well done England, you'll get a point. Of course this is different to my other AI only tournament where I did it for Age of Empires. Um, it's not like if you lose you just get eliminated, it's the five different cultures go up against each other so England will play the other four and then Welsh will play the other four and all that. And the top two winners like first and second place, whoever has the most wins, uh, go into the grand final. There's a schedule on my Discord and the scores are on my Discord and everything. Hope to see you in future episodes. Um, I'm going to start recording. I think it's the Welsh versus the... Uh, I can't remember. Vikings next? That video will be coming out later today as well, hopefully. Hope you enjoyed this one and goodbye. Oh, we get to see the statistics as well, so... Well, hopefully. Okay, so we can see here. Um, yeah. Oh, this horseman unit lost all the troops but didn't get a single kill. The English best unit was this swordsman here, 64, and the Welsh best unit was. Oh no, oh no. Um, I've seen this one. This is. Alright, so this is Hounder kills, so still this Oddman unit did best with 73. The cavalry got 18 kills, this is Hounder soldiers on left. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so Catapult got 6, but these Warhounds didn't do well, they'll probably have been better with some swordsmen or something. 75 for Welsh. And that was their best unit. Yeah, so this is best unit in the game. Well done to that Spearman. Um, oh, no, Welsh Horseman. It's a cavalry unit. Well done to them. Hope you enjoyed this video, and... Good. Bye.